What's going on everyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and for this video I'm here to give you guys a product review of the Rat7 Gaming Mouse by Madcats. In this review I'll be going over the design, hardware, performance, taking a quick look at the actual program and I'll be giving you guys my final verdict. So let's go ahead and start with the design aspect. As you can tell the Rat7 Gaming Mouse has a unique design to it which is quite different than any ordinary mouse that I've seen thus far which is pretty cool because it's unique in its own separate ways. It kind of looks like someone took a bunch of pieces of plastic, did a little bit of work in a metal shop, and then kind of combined the two to make its own creation, and thus you have the Rat7 mouse, which is a pretty cool looking design overall because it's different from any other mouse that I've seen out in the market. I mean, to kind of do a little comparison with the SteelSeries mouse, as you can see, these are two different looks, two different designs but I like the look and appeal of the Rat7 because it's unique, it's different, and it catches my attention. Now next I want to go over is the hardware in terms of the programming features and what you're able to do because this is a fully customizable mouse. Now for programming features, this features up to 18 programmable buttons, which I'll go over those right now. You have the right and left click. You also have the mouse wheel up down and click. You also have a mode setting. You have mode 1 which is red, mode 2 which is blue, and mode 3 which is pink so you can program each of those buttons in each of those different modes. You also have what's called a precision shot down here which will lower the DPI setting or you could program that for a different button. For example when I play Battlefield 4 I like to have this one to go to my pistol as quickly as possible when I run out of ammunition for my main weapon. You also have the two clickable buttons over here on the side and of course you have the side mouse wheel for left and for right. You also have a setting right here which is the DPI setting so every time you press the DPI setting up it will increase the DPI or pressing down will decrease the DPI but you have a light indication with up to four bars indicating if the DPI is high or low. And as I stated, this is a fully customizable mouse which you could customize it in a few different ways, which I'll go ahead and demonstrate that right now. For example, right now, here's what I have it set to. As you can see, I have this sled for my pinky rest, I have this extended out here instead of in, and I'll show you guys how to do that, but first let's take a quick look at the accessories this includes. You do have three different changeable palm rests and three different changeable pinky rests which I'll bring out right now so here is a pinky rest which features a grip here's another one which is exactly like that but without the grip and then from the palm rest you kind of have a flat which is kind of like the grip one except without the grip so if you just prefer you know having less intact on your palm you can use something like that or if you want something that has more added to your palm you have one that's much more raised up for bigger hands so whether or not if you have small hands medium hands or large hands this mouse is easy able to customize to fit your proper needs me I have small hands so it fits me quite well down here you have a the palm rest which you could extend out So whatever fits your personal needs, which is really nice because like I said, you could customize it to where you feel comfortable with, or you could completely remove it and change it out for something different. So maybe I want to use the one that has a higher palm rest to it. You know what? I just used the wrong one. This is the one with a higher palm rest. So maybe I want one with a higher palm rest. So you do have many options for that. Also too, right here for the thumb rest, you could have it out like I have right now. Or you could push this back in by using a unique tool which is attached to right here. You take this tool, you place it right there in that one screw. Now you can change it. So maybe I want this to be more in. Tighten it back up. Boom, you're ready to go. Now it kind of looks like more of a standard mouse in this case, which is great. 
And of course, another nice feature is that if you take the tool and place it in this slot right here, you could extend this to go forward or back. For me, I have it to where I need it to be, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. As you can see, when I have my hand on the mouse, I could easily reach the precision shot and the buttons off to the side. You're also able to change the pinky rest, which you take your tool. You just unscrew this. Just note that the tool is a little bit hard to grip because there's not much to it. So just kind of take your time, just do um, you know, turn after turn. Choose which one you want to use. Okay, so maybe I'm now using a bigger palm. Maybe I want the grip pinky rest. Place that in the slot. Take the screw. Place it back in. And then tighten. Now it looks like a normal mouse rather than different. So all kinds of unique features which is great for the product. Not only that, this also features a weight system on the back where you have five different weights. So you could easily unscrew this right here and you could change out the weights to whether you want all the weights in or just a certain amount. So whatever fits your personal needs, you can do that. So pretty easy overall. It's like I said, highly customizable not only programmable but so you could have it to your own personal liking which is a great feature with this product now the next thing I want to go ahead and quickly go over with you guys is the overall program alright now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the actual software and how to program the different keys on the mouse but first if you haven't done so already you do need to visit the Mad Cats official website to download both the driver and the software Next, in order to customize your mouse and to activate game mode, you just highlight over to where it's located over in the corner, right click it, and go to Profile Editor. Then you're going to get the Mad Cats logo bringing you to the actual program itself. It is very easy to use and it's not too complicated. So on the very first page you have the product which gives you some basic information. Over on the setting is where you could set your DPI setting. So if you, if you recall that I mentioned the DPI setting on behind the mouse wheel, as you can see when I press up, the DPI settings will increase and I could easily manually change where I want it to be. So where it, wherever it is I feel comfortable with, I could change it to that or whatever it is that you prefer. Go up again, it's going to go to the max which is 6400. If I go to the lowest, well the lowest is 25, but as you can see my mouse wheel is going pretty slow. Go up a setting, I'm going a bit faster, go up another one, my mouse is going pretty quick again, but once I go to the max, just the slight movement of my mouse, my mouse goes crazy all over the screen. Now down here is where you have what's called the precision aim, if you choose to use this. Now, the maximum you go, and when you click the DPI, shows how quick the mouse is going to move in terms of DPI settings. So now that I'm pressing the DPI, as you can see, my mouse is going pretty slow. But I do have this issue, it's not doing it now, but every so often, if I happen to move my mouse to the left, sometimes my, um, like it will kind of jump, but that's like random. And of course, the lower you have it, the faster the DPI is going to be when you press that. So obviously precision aim is you want to lower DPI to give you that precise sniper shot. So pretty easy to do. Once you have the settings you want, you push apply. Next is the programming. Here you can set up different programming keys and of course you can easily turn the mouse wheel to get an idea of how to, the mouse looks. So pretty cool. And here you could set up all the different programming features. Like I said, you have a few different modes. You have mode 1, which is red, mode 2, which is blue, and mode 3, which is pink. 
Now you could easily set up any video game profile or you could download other users profiles as well. For example, I have different settings. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one. Uh, let's say I'm in the mood for a Battlefield 4. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, so what kind of settings do I have here? Well, the precision shot will access my pistol. The first button below will access my defibrillator since I like to play as the assault class. The next mode down after that will either give ammo or health depending on which class I'm playing as. Here I tend not to use these because I just find I just didn't find any use for these at all. And once you have your different settings you want, once you program it, you can easily test the speed. So as you can see, pressing 2, or in this case getting to my pistol is very quick. And the different buttons as well. Very simple to do, all you need to do is go over, let me go ahead and just open up another one. Just hover over and you can easily set it to whatever it is you want. Pretty simple to do. Once you have it to your proper settings, you click save. Then you also click the activation profile, or in this case activate profile, which you could easily double check down here. Now that it's highlighted green, when you're going into your different games, now you could use those programmable features. If you don't have the activation on, you will not be able to use the programming features on the mouse. You must make sure you press activate profile. And of course, last but not least is the support, or if you need help and support, you could easily go to these different settings. It's basically simple as that. Now let's go ahead and get back to the performance. Now that we've gotten the chance to check out some of the programming features and the software, how does it perform overall? And I gotta say, the performance of this mouse is fantastic. I mean, the fact that you could easily change the DPI settings, whether if you want more or less on the fly, is a nice feature, especially during the intense battles during your gameplays, especially if you need the extra boost or less, depending on what your situation is. The fact that you have all kinds of unique features on the mouse, such as the precision aim to lower the DPI during your sniper needs, or easily able to program it to something else, easily able to access the buttons off to the side. Just overall, the performance of this mouse was fantastic. I did, however, find a increased performance based on the mouse I used previously, which was the Steel Serious Diablo 3 edition. Now, this mouse is something that's meant for someone who has big hands, so you know, in the end, I tended to get uncomfortable with this one. But ever since I switched to one that was a bit more smaller, kind of that fit my needs and I was able to adjust to my hands specifically, um, I found an increased performance by 85%, which is great, you know, because now I'm able to enjoy my games comfortably and enjoy the different features overall. Now, what do I like and what do I not like about the product? So far, based on my use, there's not one thing I can think of that I could dislike about it. Uh, to be honest, I mean, if there were to add something, maybe it'd be cool to kind of add some type of palm rest where you can maybe customize one, get like a custom print, like of maybe your logo, or maybe you're in a clan, you want your clan logo printed on it. I think that would have been a, a cool feature to add, like maybe something onto their website. It's just an idea. It's not like, like a downside, just, you know, a feature idea. Um, what do I like? I like all the programming features, the mouse in terms of build quality doesn't feel cheaply made at all. There's some really nice weight to it and I don't see this mouse breaking down anytime soon. The programming features, the customization, I mean there's, there's a ton of things I like about this product. There's not one thing I dislike about this at all. But overall, in the end, I'm going to give the Rat7 a full 5 out of 5. Now, just do keep in mind this mouse does retail for the price of $100. Um, my recommendation is if this is something that does interest you but you don't see yourself spending the $100, try to look online and try to find some sales going for it. Some places are selling it for about $75 or less. If you get it for that price or less, then I say go for it. But overall, in the end, I, like I said, I'm giving the Rat7 Mouse a full 5 out of 5. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. And remember, Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming.